If you're watching these videos out of sequence, that's usually fine. But this one is actually video number two of three. So go back and watch Radio Counseling Honor first and bring a paper and a pencil if you haven't already done it. Last time we reviewed Honor and broke it down into the things that are most important to you. Of course, you have your information on hand right now, and hopefully you've been thoughtful about what you've written and thorough in your self-analysis. Hell yeah, absolutely. But your next step is to consider what they mean and more importantly, how to implement them. Discipline is very important. Uh, no, not, not like that. Uh, it's, it's, we're talking about discipline in terms of what we do, why we do it. The military is famous for implementing uh, discipline upon its troops. And it makes sense because in battle, you can't just pause and request greater clarity and understanding for what's happening. <laughs> At the risk of being dramatic, you actually can't do that anywhere in life there's any sort of pressure on you at all. Between you and me, that's like most of the time. However, since we've spent so much of our time now sketching out what's important to us with honor, we have created a framework from which to base our decisions. And you did do that, right? Discipline is, in short, an implementation of our priorities. I get it. I think. Now, let's say if you have creativity in your honor, your next question should be how you are implementing it in your day-to-day -day life. Where is your creativity being expressed? Um. It's not? Well, then you're literally failing yourself. And you could see a psychiatrist, talk to a counselor, complain to the bartender. But none of that's going to change that you aren't doing something that's fundamentally important to you as a person. Okay, wow, all right. You need to make some changes and make some time for your priorities. If you have leisure as a priority, for example, you uh, have a couple of options where you could work for more and therefore work less, but earn the same amount, or you could figure out how to make less and still live sort of more of the lifestyle that you want. In essence, trimming away the extras that you don't need. I guess you could also just marry a sugar mommy or a sugar daddy, sugar parent. But I'll give you a personal example. Uh, my chief priority, for example, is competence. Uh, that's incredibly important to me. That is my number one thing. I want to be competent at what I do. Um, that isn't attainable in the same way that, you know, I want to have $100 is. I can't put a number on competence. That makes it a pursuit, a goal that I strive for. There will always be someone better than me, though. And I will have off days. And some days... I'll just fuck it up. <laughs> Discipline is the focus for you to try again. I mean, I might have missed one practice this year. It can be one practice. If I can't practice, I can't practice, man. I'm hurt, I'm hurt. To talk about it's easy to sum it up when you just talk about practice. We're talking about practice. Practice. We're talking about practice, man. Practice. Pra practice. 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 Practice right now. Uh, and do so even in the face of failure. There is nothing wrong with striving for a goal. There's no penalty beyond what we inflict on ourselves. And that effort is literally what makes us better. For you to live your life in accordance to your priorities and beliefs, you must, you have to, you have got to make the time and decisions necessary to live and act on them. Otherwise, they're just words that you'd like to believe about yourself. And next week, the epic conclusion, love.